pass out no. tonight. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Miles. I'm Josh. And today it's is Friday, Friday yeah. December 9th, 2022, and there are no Saints birthdays today. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe for your last lunch of 2022, Chris Speedos. Mm. Mm. In Saints sports, tonight there is a varsity boys basketball game against St. Pius at 7 p.m. and a varsity wrestling tournament at 1 at Mid-America Center. And finally, tomorrow, another wrestling tournament at 10 at Mid-America Center again, and a boys swim meet at 12 at Summit Trail Middle School. Remember that the boys basketball team will be selling shirts during lunch. Today is the last day shirts are selling and they are $20 a piece. The saying of the day today is Juan Diego. Thousands of people gathered in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe July 31st, 2002 for the canonization of Juan Diego, to whom the Blessed Mother appeared in the 16th century. Pope John Paul II celebrated the ceremony at which the poor Indian peasants became the church's first saint indigenous to the Americas. Today is the 13th day of the Jesse tree, celebrating Ruth's faithfulness. The ornament today depicts a stalk of grain. Naomi is troubled, knowing that she cannot stay in Moab with no one to protect her. She decides to return to Bethlehem and tells her daughters-in-law to return to the protection of their own families. One daughter-in-law, Orpha, returns to her family. The other, Ruth, stays with Naomi and asks not to be separated from her. Ruth remains faithful to Naomi and goes into the fields to gather any grain left behind. While Ruth is working in the fields, she meets Boaz, the landowner, who is attracted to her and hears her story. Ruth in his heart, he tells his workers to make sure that Ruth has plenty of grain to gather. Remember to share our hearts and gifts with each other this Advent season. We will re be rewarded by God. Students, remember to turn in any of your first semester service hours before you leave for Christmas break. All hours should be turned in within two weeks from the date of service. Do not wait to get them turned in. Saints Rudolph is coming to town next week. Catch this Christmas classic on the STA stage Friday and Saturday. You will not want to miss it. This show features 45 Aquinas actors and 23 crew members. Come support your performing arts department by joining the audience. Tickets are only $6.50 in advance and 7 at the door. Seats are filling up quickly. Don't miss your chance to see this festive show. Calling all Saints, as you think about your classes for next year, please consider enrolling in the Saints Brigade Marching Band and Sapphire's Color Guard or the Saints Brigade Drum Line. The band and color guard meet during second hour. The new drum line class will meet on Wednesdays during zero hour. These amazing groups get to perform at our home football games, travel to some awesome marching festivals, and play at all of our spirit assemblies. Please contact Mr. Burgess for more information. Waivers will be available for pickup during lunch periods today. If you don't get your waiver, you could be on the hold list. The hold list is posted in the comments and outside the main office. Please check it. Well, Christmas break is coming up, and here at Halo, we wanted to see some of your guys' Christmas favorites. Here's Cooper as Santa on the street. Good morning, Saints. This is Hall Talk. I'm your host, Cooper, and we're going to be asking people some Christmas questions. Matt, Matt, Matt. This is in my locker. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, Home Alone. That's a good one. I like it. I agree. Colin. 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 Hey, what's your favorite part of Christmas? Favorite part of Christmas? Um, hanging out with family. Appreciate you. Respect. I have a question for you. What's your favorite Christmas present that you have gotten? Uh, probably some good shoes. Respect. <laughs> what's your favorite Christmas song? Um, Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Thank you. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Christmas movie? Oh gosh, I guess a Christmas story. Respect. What's your favorite memory about Christmas? Um, probably um, my brother always hides gifts for me, and I have to go on a scavenger hunt to find them. So that's always fun. That's awesome. Favorite Christmas song? It's got to be Johnny Mathis. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Dun, 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 dun. You know that one? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. Question for you. What's your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song? Yeah. Um, Winter Wonderland. Okay. <laughs> favorite Christmas song? Illinois. 
I have a question for you. Yes. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, uh, Jingle Ball Rock. Respect. EP. What's your favorite Christmas memory? Um, probably when we went to Florida for Christmas. It was pretty great. Went to Florida for Christmas. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas song? Uh, the Jingle Bells by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas memory with each other? Um, decorating the Christmas tree. Don't put that. Decorating the Christmas tree? Yep. Being twins. Ooh, Santa, uh, I have a question for you. What's your favorite Christmas dessert? Dessert? Um, I don't know if it's really a dessert, but I guess hot chocolate. What's your favorite Christmas memory? Um, Christmas memory? That's a hard one. That's a great question, though. Um, probably... <laughs> Probably when we all played that game where you put those things in your mouth and you have to like speak out the sentence, but it just sounds stupid. That's probably my favorite memory. That's a fun game. Thanks guys, great video. Christmas week is almost over and we still have lots of great activities planned during lunch. Today we have hot chocolate and a Spanish Kahoot. Awesome. Now for our Christmas <laughs> countdowns. There are only five more days of school left, including finals, and only 16 days until Christmas. Wow, wow. I can't <laughs> wait. We are getting so close. And now for Spanish Day, Valentina y Marta are here to give us a Spanish fun fact. Did you know that there are 559 million people across the world that speak Spanish? And there are six Spanish-speaking countries in the World Cup. Wow, wow I, I just did, did not, not know, know that. that. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you next week. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Miles. I'm Josh. I'm Valentina. And I'm Marta. Signing, Signing off. off. Remember, stay classy states and embrace the moment. moment.